Now, we look at the idea of using our legs as a kind of cross face to regain control of the Tegatame after we've lost control of our opponent's head position. Okay, we just looked at the cross face. That's uh, a very, very effective method. You can use a reverse cross face too. From a situation where we play normally, we get our shin underneath our training partner's armpit. Okay, but as we play with our leg configuration, another possibility from here, instead of throwing the legs over the shoulder, is to pass our leg through as a hook on the back of our training partner's neck. The most important detail is that your knee face down to the floor. You don't want this kind of thing. This is a disaster. You want your knee facing downwards. Then from here, you can reinforce it with your other foot. You have the choice between planting on his back, going foot to foot, or even passing your leg across as a kind of a quasi cross face in this direction. As your training partner goes to move away from you, you find yourself tap, tap, that tap. same pressure on your training partner's leg. Any one of those leg configurations here will do it. This is the major one. And the most important point is that your knee faces down towards the mat. When Placida goes to push in towards me, it's a difficult thing. Tap, tap, tap. And from here, the lock is strong. If he goes to move away from us, tap. <laughs> it's tight. Oh, sorry, but just uh, <laughs> put your head down to the floor. Good. And we just follow. Tap, tap, tap. And follow. And guys, like any Tegatame, the single most important thing is that the back of your hand be inside your own hip. This is true for all the Tegatames. That's the common denominator out of all of them. No matter how many leg configurations we use, the common denominator is the back of your hand inside your own hip. The second you lose back of the hand inside the hip, you lose the movement overall, and plus you can easily start moving out into other forms of uh, I have to switch off to other forms of attack. As long as we have our hand inside our own hip pocket, even when he goes to move around, tap, it comes on quick. He throws the head down towards the floor. Tap, tap. And insane. Okay. So focus on that. Your hand right there inside the pocket of your hip, no matter which side you're on. So we have a training partner in front of us, regardless of how we go to hit the move, whether it be the old school classic versions here and here, legs over the top, shin in place or so, it doesn't really matter. Okay? As long as we have our hand inside of our hip, everything's looking good. And from here, we get the throat, okay?